What's going on you guys? My name is Ian Tomniak and I'm back doing another video. Hi, what's going on? It's nice to see you. Um, so I'm doing another uh, video where I'm going to talk about some things. Uh, just as an update, I haven't been doing a lot of skit videos or any sort of uh, videos like that recently just mainly because I've been preparing them for school and trying to figure out what I want to do for school and what I want to do outside of school. Um, I am going to be doing a lot more intensive projects in my videography class, so I'm trying to figure out exactly how I want those to work. Um, so I may be doing some more uh, videos with with this. Um, you know, I may, I may be doing a lot more videos with um, with uh, you know talking videos in the upcoming future, and then eventually um, they will be interspersed with those new videos that I am planning right now, but that have not fully come to fruition yet. But enough of that, I'm going to talk today about the importance of videography and photography and how both of them work together to, uh, you know, create this awesome synopsis, basically. To create this very good marriage. Um, and how I think, personally, it is very important that if you are a photographer to understand videography and vice versa for videography and photography, I, I think that it's very important that you, that you know both. And the reason is because they are so similar. Um, obviously, video is just a bunch of a bunch of images, you know, a bunch of a bunch of static images played at a certain number of frames per second. And so, really, you can see the connection right away. As someone who does photography seriously and videography seriously, um, I think it is very important to know both of them because. They have so many similarities in content, not just in that photography is basically lots of photos played very fast and your eyes can't tell the difference. Um, <clears throat> when you're doing video and, and you're thinking of things like the framing of, you know, of the, the camera, thinking about subject, thinking about background, thinking about the lighting, you know, you're thinking about all these things in video as well as in photo. You have to think about all of them in both of these, you know, genres. Um, the main difference is, like right now, I'm moving around, and and in a, in a photograph, the person is not, um, at least not exactly. You can create that that visual motion by using many things like lighting and and shutter speed and technique. You know, you, you can have these techniques where you can you can give the uh, illusion of motion, but the the Whatever is in the photograph, those things are static. They've been captured in that way, and that moment is now captured forever, basically. Um, and I think video is very important, too, because it can show a lot that photography cannot, and photography can show a lot that video cannot. Um, videography has almost gotten up to that point, though, where it's almost catching photography and passing it in a way, because you can take such high-quality video now, that you can say, hey, look at this video, um, it's such high quality, I can just take this screenshot, this one frame from it, and I can print it out, and it's the same as doing a fantastic photo. Um, and that's something in, with photography that it's, it's hard to counter that. Um, but I think that having, being well versed in video and photo, that's very important just because it's not... If you're going into a situation, say you want to work for a company, you want to you want to do some some advertisement stuff, you know, you want to take photos for their business so they can you know help them so they can market themselves. Um, I think that having video and photo is a very good thing because a lot of times you don't you have people who are are driven differently and things stick in their head differently. So sometimes you'll have someone see a photo like up on a bill on a billboard or something. They'll, they'll see it and they'll be like, oh, you know, I can remember what, remember that billboard I saw, you know, that place you want to go there for, you know, dinner or whatever, you need a dentist. Um, some people are very driven by video, you know, they see a video online and they say, oh, you know, a whether it's a commercial or whether it's a, you know, an ad, they see that and it sticks in their brain. And so having both of those when you go into a situation with a company where you're saying like, I want to help, you know, I want to help market you and your business, I can do video, I can do photo, I can do either, I, you know, I can do both. I can, I can integrate them and, and combine them into stuff. Um, that's really cool. Uh, and then, I mean, you have things where video and photo combine, like time-lapse photography, uh, where it's, you know, tons of photos over the, over the course of a long period of time. You have those kind of things where it's this beautiful marriage between the two genres, 
where you get this awesome product. And and I, I just think I think that knowing both it's it's helped me. Knowing photography has helped me with video. Knowing video has helped me with photo. It's helped me with the framing. It's helped me with with understanding that you have to look at everything in the entire you know in the entire scope of things. You have to really pay attention to everything in a frame. It's not just oh look at that. I mean you can obviously take snapshots like oh look at that photo. But when you learn photo, you get to you get nitpicky and. It's the same thing happens with video over time. You you worry about all of this. If I'm filming my desk, you worry about every single thing on it. What's the significance of these things? Do I want to put significance to them? Are they supposed to be random? Why are they random? It's not just, oh, they're random. Why are they random? There has to be an explanation for all that. I think that knowing both of these genres has really helped me in, uh, excel in both of them. And I hope I continue to excel in both of them. You know, That's why I've been doing all this work to, to put together some, some more uh, short you know, short skits and, and fun projects like that for you guys. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, this little, uh, you know, just a rant. And it's something I've been thinking about a lot, especially because those are the two main things I've been focusing on in school. So, um, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you can totally leave a like. If not, you don't have to. You can leave a dislike. Uh, you can do nothing. You can uh, leave a comment. If you want to um, see more uh, stuff from me, then you could subscribe. You can ask me questions, and I can answer them in a video. It's all up to you. But I hope you enjoyed nonetheless, and I will be back soon for more stuff. Yeah. Hmm. Kobe! The hat is not very aerodynamic.